bloggers pow Right, let's have a look back at some more forgotten arcade games. Things you may have played in the past, forgotten all about. Luckily, I've remembered them for you. Right, so this is Golden Axe Revenge of Death Adder. One of those games I really can't believe I haven't played on a channel before. Oh, well, I, I did and I didn't. I sort of had a quick go in it when I did my... Um, a Pandora's Box Arcade Joystick thing. So anyway, we've got characters to select. We've got uh, some elfy thing, the Barbarian, a pretty cute centaur, and a Barbarian with Gilead's Thunderhead on his back, I don't know. Anyway, we're going for a cute centaur. Centaur? Centaur. Who knows? Scene 1. Rescue the villagers. Wait, is this Operation Wolf? Operation initiated. Oh yes, and the chicken leg things and it's standard golden axe fair but done very very well and it's really bizarre this never got any home conversions in fact it still hasn't got any home conversion I don't think it's come back in any form whatsoever I could be wrong with me on one of these re-release things or something stop whipping the old woman she's probably paid for it Oh, and it's one of the, the uh, playing mantis thing. Now I can ride this, so I'm not sure what happens to the rest of my horse body when this happens, but we'll just roll with it. Guys, chilling by a waterfall, about to become flambe. And I've just fallen into the water, and I've got my... That's a bit weird, isn't it? When you're riding the beast, your horse body disappears. Oh, hello. Looking at the magic, you only appear to have three levels of magic, but, uh... Oh no, no, that's my health! Magic is powered up. So when I find myself in a sticky situation... Oh, 14... Four, okay, so my magic goes up to four, but I've got 14 flask things. Yes, those slaves, bring that death at a statue in here. Is that something I can pick up? Oh, you knew little catapult. Oh, shit, that hurt. Can I pick this up? No. Oi! I can find a little catapult. <laughs> That's really silly. Oh, dear. Excellent horse hissing action. I'm going to turn this to gravestone when I lost my old manger. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Well, let's get. Can we get in this? Oh, no, no, we've got a boss. It's a big Amazon woman. And I've already got our stun locked. Thankfully. And also, nice that she's got a health bar. And then you've got this. Rather interesting 3D section with a fat goblin at the end. Nice bit of a uh, into the screen action there, that's fine. Oh, I just realised I haven't tried dashing into anything yet. Oh, yeah, you can dash, lovely. There's some more villagers to be freed there. And. <laughs> pull, but pull my chain, is that, is, is that <laughs> a flush? <laughs> pull to flush villagers away. The villagers are revolting, they need flushing. <laughs> there we go, you are well and truly flushed villagers. And those villagers need flushing. Let's try the magic. There we go, the power of centaur magic. Pretty much fuck all, actually. I 
Yeah, are you, are you, that's full power. That's using four um, magic potions. And you have oh, sustained shit, a lethal injury. Sorry, but you are finished. Here. Continue the game. Oh. Oh, button. I mean, this is obviously a much better game than Golden Axe 3 was on the Mega Drive, which is a bit lacking. Oh, I haven't actually covered that, I don't think. Or have I? I don't know. There's been so many games. No, oh, there's something else to pull. Oh, okay, there's a Scorpion Boy and a, and a Mace Boy. I like Scorpion Attack, that's pretty cool. Yeah, the graphics in this are excellent. Excellent spy work. And they, sort of retain the feel of classic Golden Axe as well, even though it was released quite a few years later. The village is freed and recovered from damages. Oh, classic goblin time. Oh, I've got my scorpion as well. Come to stick around. It's nice. Oh, I can use the scorpion to twat the goblins. Ah! <laughs> Excellent. Oh, dramatic music is the... Oh, it's another praying mantis. What's this one do? And people wearing weird tribal mask things. Can I have your praying mantis, please? Let's see what it does. This one just slices. Okay, that's fine. And bites people's heads off. Wow, that's... As far as praying mantis shit goes, that's pretty sexual. Oh, you need to use your little pissy cat pack catapults on me. Oh, <laughs> okay, I've got a catapult on my praying mantis. That's pretty sweet. Let's see if we can get the other one. That's really cool. So this is a bit like Jason and the Argonauts thing where the uh, Hydra's teeth turn into skeletons except the uh, sticks turn into tree men because well that sort of makes sense I suppose I like the idea and there's lots of them you know I'm just gonna use my magic on them because I can't be asked to fight them and they're bigger than the other ones I have the feeling that fire attack probably would have been better than Lightning attack versus trees, but or at least wood anyway. Are these edible? They are. Is that pit sudden death? Probably. Shit! Some little three D effect there from branches being smashed out the screen. So that's interesting. So yes. Golden Axe for Revenge of Death Addict is a seriously solid side of scrolling fighting game. So if you got bored of playing the Capcom style ones, which are also a little bit formulaic but still excellent games, you probably could do a lot worse than playing this. So yeah, track it down on your favourite emulation device or uh, if you're really lucky, pop down an arcade and play it. But either way, it's going to be a good time. Right, this is Buggy Boy. Not really forgotten, but I'll tell you what is forgotten. The fact the arcade game was three screens wide. Don't know if it needed that, but here we are. Also, I do think that the um, 
home computer versions probably do get remembered a lot more than the coin up i know i spent a lot more time playing the commodore 64 version than i did the arcade that's for sure mind you i can't remember the arcade sticking around for very long down margate but yeah here we go also the emulation on this is fine but the handling is really twitchy so driving in a straight line is really really bloody hard and then you go into a little skid like that sometimes so fine we'll we'll try and play around it but then there's going to be lots of crashes and this tunnel here shit see and the time bonus things i'd forgotten it only work when you collect all of them and there's a rock yeah with the steering it is that's bastard hard And to be honest, it's probably really impressive in, in, a, in its widescreen sort of way. And I'm not going to make this. Well, I'm not going to make this bridge because I was tripped up by something on the way. And we're out of time. It's so so hard. Well, let's try one of the other courses. Right. So this is the west course. I'm missing me. I played all the time on Common 64 playing mainly the off road course. But, um. Do you know what's become completely apparent through playing this now? The Common 64 version was really, really accurate. Obviously, it wasn't going to compete graphically with the arcade version. But wow, was it accurate in design. It really is. Oh, double, double, those bridges are even thinner than the ones in the last track, brilliant. Um, I'm really messing up the flags on the, the gates because if we do the flags in the, there we go, certain order like that, they flash and you get bonuses and stuff and it's all very nice and we've got the time thing and we're out of time again. Huh, let's try one of the other courses. Right, this is the south course. You can tell by the South Seas and the palm trees and the nice balmy summer evening here. Mind you, Bunny Bug, Buggy Boy is a very summery game all the same. And we didn't. Do you know what? It handles better on two wheels. Like your mum? I don't know, does that even work? I will get that time bonus. I need one more. Oh god, look, there's a bridge coming up. Come on, we can make it, we can make it. Hooray, but it's done absolutely fuck all. I need to get to a checkpoint. Oh, what the hell. Right, let's go, one more track. Right, this is the east track. Eastbound and down, loaded up and trucking. We're going to do probably nothing. So far, straight road. Oh, it's a bit of a curve. Oh, God, and there's a bridge coming up as well. If it was easier to straighten out, and I'm sure it's probably an, an emulation issue or a control setup problem, which I'm having issues with. It would be a whole lot easier and the fact it just goes into this little skid sometimes if you steer maybe too uh, vigorously just makes it a little bit uncontrollable we actually gonna get to a checkpoint 10 seconds remaining we might get to a checkpoint people Four, three, two, no, just out. So yeah, buggy boy. Um, interesting to see these days. But seriously, for my money, play the Commodore 64 version. Right. Next up, we have Twin Cobra, and look, that's right. Helicopter, helicopter. 
so obviously you it's not what you're going to shoot them up it's by toe plan and you control the helicopter, helicopter, helicopter. and that deck of that ship always reminds me of looking like a gas hob so brilliant and i'm going to press the smart button bump bottom ah and i'm going to press the smart button to helicopter 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 helicopter, helicopter. helicopter. Anyway, I've, I've not pressed the smart button. Helicopter. Helicopter, helicopter. First. Big helicopter. Helicopter, helicopter. Yeah. So, one thing is weird about this is the um, power-ups tend to fidget around the screen like a nutcase trying to. Oh, helicopter. Helicopter, helicopter. Avoid you picking them up. Ah, oh, shit, six. Luckily, instant respawn being an arcade version, the home versions I seem to remember uh, put you back a bit. So technically, you could credit spam this helicopter. Helicopter, helicopter. And that's an extra bomb. Helicopter. helicopter! Helicopter! Right, and this blue one, well, it's a different weapon for each colour, but I have locked out blue. Helicopter! 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 Smart bomb! Helicopter! Helicopter! Helicopter. Helicopter, 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 Helicopter helicopter. Helicopter helicopter helicopter. Helicopter helicopter. Helicopter helicopter helicopter. Helicopter helicopter. Do you know what? I thought this would be easy and quick and maybe a couple couple of little helicopter jokes in and I'll die really quickly. I'm having my best ever go on this game. And it's going to be tiring to edit in those helicopters. Helicopter, 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 helicopter. Let's have a different a different weapon. It was a stupid yellow weapon. Helicopter, 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 helicopter. This is Dr. No Vocal Chords um uh, fault by the way. He mentioned it wouldn't be funny if you played a game it was just like 100% helicopters. I couldn't find anything with 100% helicopters, but this is close, and I'm nearly at the end of my life, my tether, and my lives, and I'm not going to continue. Right, last thing we have Karnov. Um, again, it's it's in that converted bracket, but people just don't talk about it anymore. To be honest, I think many people talked about it back then, but um. Let's go. Scene one, player one. Now, Karnov is infamous. He had his own game. We're playing it. He was in Dragon Ninja. He was in Karnov's Revenge. He was also in Trio the Punch. Almost like an unofficial mascot for uh, Data East. Now, these. There we go. There we go, it looks pop up. Oh, what the fuck, I landed on some kind of bastard mutant plant. Okay. Let's go again. Kind of a dick.
Bloody hell, that dragon wasn't there last time. Oh, I can't quite reach that sodding... Oh. Oh, bloody... Where did this sodding dragon come from? Right. Well, I'll say continue, but... We haven't got anywhere yet. That's solid proof that Data East probably hated, hated me. And probably you as well. Oh, and my bomb blew me up? That's weapons grade bullshit. I'm beginning to remember now why I haven't played this much, and probably why you haven't played this much. I'm sure there's going to be somebody out there who likes Karnov. Like it likes a... I don't know, something. Anyway, right. Oh, stupid twat. Oh, and there's that plant. And can you not shoot these? No, you cannot shoot these plants. Data East, you absolute gits. Right, fuck this power up. I'm just gonna just go. Super speedy sandals, Karnov. You... Why does that thing take six times more hits than anything else? And I'm going to continue because I'm a complete idiot and it will take me back to exactly where I was at the beginning of the stage. Maybe I need to use the bomb to defeat the stupid goblin thing? I don't know. And you can't duck. What is the point of having a duck command if you can't duck under things? There's one up from Mega Man. He still hasn't learned he's got knees, but... The fuck? There's so many variables here. I mean, a side scroller like this really does need some form of... learning a pattern for it to actually work. I mean, I've not seen that fucking dragon since the second life. Right. Oh, what the fuck are they? Skeletons on emus. Right, we've got a power up now. I'm going to give it to this bomb before it kills me. Oh, you absolute... Ah! Right. I bet you if I continue, I'm going to be continuing from the beginning of the stage again. No. Okay. Minor respite. And we've got a pole up here. The jumping is so... glacially slow. And of course, as soon as I jump, he spits out three of these fucking hobnob biscuit things. What? Oh, you are kidding me. Ah, oh, Christ almighty. Right, one more try. See, the basics is here to, for a fun game. I like the idea, I like the character. I like this kind of sideways scrolling shooty action. But it's so, so stupidly unfair. And the what I was going to say, the weapons fail. And is he infinitely respawning? He fucking is, isn't he? And now I have to go up there, and he's going to fucking respawn again, loads of crown. Whoa, kind of crown, what's it do? I've no idea. Just... Oh, you... What the... Plants again, the plants. And now I can't get... Oh, fuck you, Data East. Fuck you.
So there we go. For now, remember games, if you've forgotten them again, watch the video again. Yeah, subscribe or naff off.